Perforator veins are an important part of the venous system. They connect the superficial veins underneath the skin to the deep veins which lie within the muscle compartment of the leg. A fibrous layer called the fascia separates the deep veins and the superficial veins and the perforator veins are so called because they cross this layer through small perforations. The normal direction of flow in these perforator veins is from superficial to deep, that is, inwards. Some degree of outward flow is common even in healthy legs, but it is usually limited to less than 350 milliseconds. Because this outward flow of 350 milliseconds duration is very short, as well as the fact that other superficial veins have a cutoff value of 0.5 of a second to define significant reflux, most specialists use a duration of greater than 0.5 of a second as indicating perforator reflux. Reflux is the most common condition to affect the perforator veins and in this episode Michel Moore demonstrates the correct positioning of the patient, standardised sequence to the conduct of the examination, the key anatomical landmarks and she once again emphasises the key points in optimisation of the image and flow settings of the ultrasound equipment. If you would like to have a transcript of this video with explanatory notes, please send me an email. The address is below and it is repeated at the end of this episode. Please be sure to state which episode notes you wish to receive. going to now have a look at the calf to, to assess for any calf perforators. Occasionally you'll find no incompetence of the long saphenous nor short saphenous vein and there may well be just a single calf perforator leading to troublesome varicose veins. So we're going to start in transverse position. So here we can see the tibia bone and the fascia between the deep and superficial planes. This is our distal long saphenous vein, which is relatively normal in size. We can see one of the branches which left the long saphenous vein at the level of the knee, which traverses around to the posterior calf. We can follow that down. And again, we enter the long saphenous vein distally. So coming along the edge of the tibia, we can pick up a small paratibial perforator. We're going to visualise that better by reducing the depth on the machine and moving our focal zone to the region of interest to obtain the most information. We can take a diameter of the perforator as it travels through the superficial fascia. We're looking at four and a half millimetres. And again, as we saw previously, we need to check the competency of that perforator to see whether it is actually significant. And to do that, we're going to angle again to the level of the vessel walls, ensuring the angle is less than 60 degrees. We're going to reduce our frequency to ensure that slow flow within that vein is adequately detected. And again, good squeeze, just distal and release. So we can see we have a short little burst of incompetence, but again, less than 0 0.5 of a second and not significant. So, as a guide to checking the calf perforators, we keep the tibia in view we can assess through any paratibial perforators and coming more medial, this will be any cocket perforators coming in on the medial calf. Any perforators are identified. A good way to indicate to the surgeon the level of the perforator 
is to take a ruler to place that on the medial malleolus and to measure to the level of the perforator and that can tell them if surgery is needed exactly what level they're going to find the perforator which in most cases isn't visible on top of the skin. So we also check for any lateral calf perforators. Please get you to turn your leg in for me. That's great. More jelly. <laughs> And again, we're looking for any perforation through the superficial fascial layer, most commonly looking at the area of the muscle joints and just sweeping up and down the calf. And we can see we have no lateral calf perforators for David. And then we're going to check down the posterior calf. Just turn your leg out again for me, Dave. That's great. As we saw previously, we do have a posterior calf perforator where we would measure from the posterior knee crease distally, but we've already assessed that that vein demonstrated insignificant level of incompetency. And therefore isn't significant. Okay. Okay, all done.